In last week's video, we covered five of the biggest things, biggest tips to playing high volatile slots. In today's video, we're covering the five biggest tips to playing low volatile slots. Welcome back everybody to the Cowboy Slot Channel where we bring you experienced advice from years of working in the casinos, tips, reviews, and so much more. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell to stay notified for when we come out with future episodes. Now before we begin, as I mentioned in last week's video, we're not going to cover what volatility is or how to tell in this particular episode because we have already covered it before. We're going to put a link in the video description down below and also a card in the upper right hand corner of your screen if you're not familiar with what volatility is to an episode all about it and how to tell. On this channel, we talk a lot about low volatile slots and volatility on slot games and how with the lower volatile games, it's best to start with those, especially if you're building up your bankroll because it's going to give you the best chance to build that up. Always do keep in mind that even though you might have a better chance at winning with low volatile slots, it is still just that and that is a chance. Just because you're playing a lower volatile slot does not always mean that you're going to win. It is still a slot machine at the end of the day producing a random result. One of our viewers, Kevin, actually said it best in a live stream. Fishing is a great analogy. You can tell someone the right bait to use, where to go, all of that, the best possible spots, but it doesn't always guarantee that they're going to catch anything. So let's start it off with tip number one, playing low volatile slot machines. Tip number one, of course, we always start with your budget. Learn the importance of setting a budget and managing your bankroll properly with any game that you play. Now, low volatile slot machines are what we recommend for building your bankroll up because they are going to give you slow and steady wins along the way, and you are going to have an increased chance of hitting that top line jackpot. These games give you a better opportunity to build up your bankroll. But always do keep in mind, and we cannot stress it enough, that chance is the key word here. Just because you have a better chance at something, it doesn't guarantee you the win. However, when you compare a low volatile game to a high volatile game, you do have a significant better chance on the low volatile game of building up your bankroll, which is why we recommend starting with these games. The biggest tip for these games that we like to do here on this channel and that you see practiced in most of our live play videos is we set goals. We'll set a high end goal and then we set a stop limit goal. So just as an example, if you put $100 into a low volatile slot machine, before you even push that spin button the first time, you wanna tell yourself, okay, my goal is going to be to double it. If I get to 200, no matter how good the game is doing or anything like that, if I get to 200 or above, I'm gonna cash out. And my loss limit is gonna be $50. If I get down to $50, I'm gonna cash out no matter what not going to get caught up in what the next spin's going to be or any anticipations. Once that $50 is hit, I'm cashing out. Those are the two important limits that you want to set for yourself with any slot machine, but in particular, a low volatile slot machine if you're looking to build up your budget. With a low volatile slot machine, if you are looking to build your bankroll up or if you're just a more cautious player and like those slow and steady wins, then low volatile games are the perfect choice for you. Tip number two, use your free play. Since low volatile slot machines do have a much greater chance of slow and steady wins along the way, it is a great opportunity to use your free play and to turn that free play into actual real money. Not only is using your free play going to allow you a better chance to convert that into real money, but it's also going to give you a perfect opportunity to experience the mechanics of the game, to really get to understand it and find out if it fits your play style. Not only are low volatile slot machines less of a risk than those high volatile games, but especially when working with free play, you're going to be able to extend your time there at the machine and at the casino. This is the perfect opportunity to use those free play and to use those perks that the casino has given you. So the next time the casino gives you free play, find a low volatile slot machine and turn that free play into real cash. Tip number three is research the game that you're playing. Make sure that it is a low volatile game. Now really before you play any slot machine, you want to gather information and make sure that it is a machine that fits your budget and fits your play style. But particularly with low volatile slots, you want to really look at it and make sure 
that it is, in fact, a low volatile game. Unfortunately, today, most new slot games that are hitting the floor are higher in volatility. Sometimes it can be really tricky to tell, especially if you're playing at a newer facility with all new games. The older classic slot machines tend to be lower in volatility, but don't just use that as a metric because there are some old three real slot games that are higher in volatility. Again, this may be the point where you wanna review that volatility video that we put in the video description down below, just so you are aware of what volatility actually is and all the factors that go into it before you sit down and play a game. If you are having trouble finding some of our videos where we've talked about this topic before and talked about what exactly to look for or our learning series on how to pick a slot machine, we've compiled it all together on our website at ropethejackpot.com forward slash start so that you can easily find all of those videos before your next casino visit. Other things that you can do to get an idea of a game's volatility is to look up some reviews of it online, watch some YouTube videos, go kind of Google search it a little bit, look around the internet, uh, look at the pay table, look at the game rules. All of these are good things to kind of give you an idea of the game's volatility and how exactly that game plays out. Tip number four, let's talk about bonus features. Now, not all games with bonus rounds or free spins are necessarily higher in volatility. There are some lower volatile ones as well. So if you are a fan of bonus rounds or free spins, you don't exactly have to give those up just for the sake of volatility. There are a lot of low volatile slot games that do have bonus rounds that can really increase your chances of winning. Now, a bonus game will always add volatility to any base game. However, not all bonuses and free spins are on the highest end of the spectrum in terms of volatility. So they might be lower to medium on the spectrum, but they're not at that high end. Some examples of these bonus games that are lower in terms of volatility when compared to other bonus games would be, of course, games like Pinball and Top Dollar. Tip number five is be realistic. Low volatile slot machines do have a better chance for success overall in the long term but you still need to be realistic. You're not going to win every single session and low volatile slot games do give slow and steady wins along the way. So you're not necessarily going to hit something major or grand on these lower volatile games all the time. Lower volatile slot games do give a much better chance for success overall in the long term but you do still need to set a realistic expectation. Always keep your budget in mind and keep your budget at the forefront. We talk about that a lot on this channel. You don't want to, as a gambler, run out and dump all of your money or more money than you should into a game just because it's low volatile and you think that you are going to win. Remember that volatility goes in tandem with your budget. You do still need to have the proper budget in order to maintain a slow and steady flow into a low volatile game. That way that you can get a true idea of what the nature of the game is and how it plays out. And always remember, slot machines do not care about your individual session. They are running a marathon, whereas you, the player, are running a sprint. Just because a game is lower in volatility and it is expected to hit more frequently, that expectation is over the lifetime of the machine, and it really doesn't care about your individual session. So always keep in mind that just because a game is low in volatility does not guarantee you a big win. So just always remember to stay realistic with any slot game that you play, be it low volatile or high volatile. All in all, a low volatile slot game is going to give you a smoother ride and a more steady pace of wins over the long term. If you missed last week's video on tips to playing higher volatile slots, we'll also put that link in the description down below. If you are new to our channel, be sure to check out our extensive video library on tech-based tips on how you can better your slot play and better your time in the casino. Give us a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. A subscribe would be nice, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Check out these other videos, and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more slot tips. It's always free. Visit ropethejackpot.com for free guides and a whole lot more. Catch you on the next episode.